What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmondson here from Schwartz Edmondson Web Design. In today's video, we're going over the new auto layouts feature that Squarespace just released. So I'm here in my 7.1 site and the way that you can add an auto layouts section to your page is by editing the page and then clicking add section. Right now there's no auto layouts item in the list to the left. So what I do is I just go to the headlines tab and at the bottom there's a couple of auto layout sections available. And you can tell because it has this little flag here. So I'll just click one of these sections and now I have an auto layout section. So unlike with regular sections, when you click the pencil icon, you the only things that you can do here are add a background image or change the color theme for the section. For auto layout sections, the way you control the layout and the content is through the edit content tab. And here we have a bunch of options. So if I click over to the design tab, there's actually three different types of auto layouts that you can choose from. And the first one that I wanna start with is the simple list because it illustrates all of the different changes we can make the best. And then we'll go over the other two options afterwards. So I'm gonna to toggle back to the elements tab. And the first two, toggles are for the section as a whole. So if you want to add a title to the section, you can toggle that on, adds a title at the top above these auto layout uh, columns here. And if you want to toggle on a button for the section as well, you can toggle on the button down below. So you can see it just adds a title and a button there, but I don't want those. So I'm going to go ahead and leave those toggled off. And now, so here, these are the item properties. So these are for the section as a whole, and these are for the individual items. So if I wanna show an image, I can toggle on the show image switch, and I can also show a button for each item as well. And if I wanna hide the body, for example, I can do that. If I wanna hide the title, I can do that. So we have tons of control over the different elements uh, that we wanna show or hide, which is awesome. So that's the first elements tab. If we toggle over to the content tab, so this is the way that you're going to add the content for each item. So this is nice because unlike a summary block where you're pulling in content from a collection, for this auto layouts grid, you're actually controlling all of the content in one place in this content tab. So if I click on one of the default items, you can see here they've uploaded a background image. We have the title field here, and then we have the description field here. And if you have the button toggled on, you can add button text and also add the click-through link here. So that's the way that you can control content for all of your items. One thing to note is in the elements tab, like if you have show image toggled off, if you go to the content tab, it won't give you an image upload field. So if ever you don't have one of these fields and you're looking for it, just make sure in the elements panel, you have everything toggled on that you wanna to be toggled on or off. So that's uh, pretty much the content field. You, if you wanna add a new item, just click on it, add an image, add your title, description, button, all of that can be done there very easily. If you wanna delete an item, click the trash can, very straightforward. So the design tab is where all of the fun begins. So here for these items, um, you can choose the alignment. And the nice thing is they give us uh, a lot of flexibility on these options and most of the options in the design panel, you'll see a little three dot toggle, and that just means you can do custom properties. So like you can have the title aligned to the left, but the body text be centered, for example. So I really like how they've allowed us to have flexibility in here. Next, we can select whether you want the content or the image to be first. I have only toggled on media first so far. I haven't had a need to do content first, um, but again, it's nice that they give us the flexibility. Here we can control the columns. So if I want four items in a row, I can toggle that on. And then I love this feature here. So we have a bunch of different image crops. Um, you know, we see these in image blocks here uh, or like gallery image aspect ratios, uh, but there's a couple new ones. So now we have a circle crop, which is awesome. Uh, this is great for like testimonial photos. Usually those will appear in a circle. And we also have an uh, original crop. So if these images like here, these have different aspect ratios and so they're keeping their original aspect ratio, which is awesome. I love that. Um, so let me, I'll just leave it on circle for now and um, that'll, yeah, that'll come into play a little bit later on. So the next tab we can go over is the style tab. 
This is where you can control the text size. Um, again, these are selecting from your different heading sizes. So this would be like an H1 heading, H2 heading, H3 heading, and H4 heading. Um, or again, click the dots and then you get tons of flexibility over each of the individual sizes. Again, I love that. And then also a cool thing um, is you can toggle on the card view and that will just apply a background color to each of the items, which again, super cool. You can click the dots and get tons of flexibility regarding the padding around each item. So this is a super cool feature being able to add a background to each of the items. So I'm gonna hit back here and then we can finally go to the size and space tab. And this layout width, um, this is full or inset. We see this a lot just in, in regards to like normal sections as well. And that just means whether you want the content of the auto layout section to be restricted to the same width as the rest of your content. Um, so that would be set to inset or if you want it to go to the full edge of the page you can set it to full and now it just goes all the way to the edge of the page so i i never really want it to break out when i have a maximum width set i like my content to respect that maximum width and to have everything line up so usually i will leave this on um inset next we have the media width so this is where we can control the size of the image so we can set that to medium or small or we get a custom toggle here. So that looks very cool. Again, you can imagine that these are like testimonial blocks. Looks very cool. Then you can decide the alignment of the image as well. Next, we have the content width. So we can control how wide we want the content to go. Again, we have a custom toggle here. Awesome. Next, we have the content placement, center, left, or right. And then we have the space between the items. So that's how much. Uh, distance between the actual cards themselves. And then we have the space between elements. So this is the space between the image, the title, the text, and the button. So again, we have toggles, breakout toggles for each of those. And then you can decide how you want it to be positioned. So these uh, items are all different heights. So you can have them all positioned to the top. So their tops aligned, but the bottoms don't. Or you can have them centered. So now the content is aligned to the center. But if they're different heights, then you know the tops and the bottoms obviously are not aligned. Or you can have them aligned to the bottom. Or there's a, a new feature now, and they have this stretch position, which I love. So even if the cards are different heights, they will stretch and they will all be the same height. And we get our buttons aligned to the bottom. Even though these descriptions are taking up different amounts of space, the buttons are always at the bottom of the card. I love this feature. It's awesome. Uh, I'm gonna save this and we'll go to the mobile preview and you can see it just stacks each item on top of each other, exactly what you would expect on mobile. So uh, that is the simple list design. So let's go ahead and uh, toggle on the carousel because this is another cool feature. So this allows us to do a carousel where we can toggle between different items. Um, and again, uh, we have all these different toggles here. The content tab remains the same. And under the design tab, we can go to style. And again, we have the card feature. Maybe we want a little more padding. Here we can control the navigation arrows. Right now there's just arrows and none, but I'm sure they're gonna have the navigation dots in the future. The arrow or the navigation offset is just like how far apart basically the arrows are from the edge of the screen. Um, so here you can see you can have total control over how where you want the arrow to be placed. Okay, so let's go back to the size and space panel. And again, um, all of this is exactly the same as uh, we looked at before. You can determine the width of the media. Here, I'm gonna want more space between elements, more space between slides. Let me turn that up. Uh, and then I want them to stretch. I want them all to be the same height. The vertical padding, that's uh, basically the height of the section. So you can have it small, medium, or large. Or again, you have the toggle there. I'll set it to medium. Um, so now I have these different uh, cards that I can toggle be between. And if I go ahead and save this, 
this is a toggleable carousel now where I can toggle between these items and it's also draggable with the mouse. So uh, very cool. You could do scrolling testimonial carousels like this. Uh, again, a very cool feature. And of course, uh, if we click the pencil icon, we can change the color theme if we wanted to also. Uh, so we can get kind of a cool look like that. And let's go ahead and go to the carousel and see how they handle that on mobile. So here we just have the toggles down below as well. So that is the carousel design. And then finally we have the banner slideshow design. And so this is what Squarespace has been needing for a very long time. Um, this is your classic banner design. Uh, so let me go to a color theme with dark text. I'll go ahead and save that. So this is uh, just your traditional kind of banner slider where you can have title, you can have text, and you can have a button. So if I go to edit content, once again, I can toggle on the show body, and now we get the description as well as the title text and a button. Um, but again, that's a lot on the slide, so I see why they have it toggled off uh, for the default. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how it looks on mobile. We get the arrow toggles here. You can switch back and forth between the slides. Looks great. Um, one interesting feature that I'll mention is uh, if we go ahead and edit the content, um, we can toggle on infinite scroll, so it'll just keep scrolling through. And then we also have this toggle here for showing adjacent slides. So that'll let the next slide kind of like peek through and it lets people know that there is more content coming. Uh, and so you can toggle it and it just shows that next slide a little bit. And if we go down to mobile, uh, it looks like it doesn't show that next slide. So it's just strictly a desktop look. All right, that is our quick look at the new auto layouts feature in Squarespace 7.1. I'm gonna be releasing tons of new auto layouts customizations in the coming weeks. So subscribe if you wanna be notified when those videos come out. All right guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.